Grandmother Marion Dawn Skyweaver. Grandmother, tell us about the ceremony. I'm a weaver. Uh, that's why I'm Skyweaver. Uh, weaving the dreams between uh, Father Sky and Mother Earth is my cast. And this is a part of that weaving. I can remember many years ago when we were told that it was the time of the feminine. And uh, you had to dance with that to figure out exactly what that meant uh, as women uh, uh, and birthers and nurturers. Um, I don't see us as, as swinging the pendulum all the way the other way so that we, we say this is the way it should be. Our pendulum needs to come somewhere in the middle where um, we not only embrace the attributes of the masculine as hunters and gatherers uh, and safety and security, but we also bring in the nurturing, we bring in the mothering, we bring in that honoring of right relationships with all things, which is something that we had went away from and has caused a lot of war. Uh, what, what I see is that we are in the, in the process of helping ourselves understand what is peace and what does that mean to the generations in front of us? What does that mean to Mother Earth and all her re relatives, uh, the trees, the water, the, the uh, animals, uh, the air, uh, all the things that are a part of Mother Earth as she is below, above her, meaning the, uh, the universe and, and, um, and so on and so on bringing all those things into a balance. I see the ceremony is bringing the energy into that, bringing the energy and standing in peace and understanding what that means. Peace is about um, righteousness. It's about love. It is about justice. It doesn't mean that we kind of say, okay, all those things didn't happen because they did, but it makes us look and kind of say, okay, from within my peace, from my inner peace, how do I see it? You know, how do I see the role? How do I see the path? What is my piece of the pie? Where do I stand? It is not about um, trying to make anyone do anything different. It is, a, uh, it is about us standing in our own, on our own path and understanding the peace and love and joy and happiness all go together. And that it's not just about women standing in peace. It is about men also joining us, standing beside us in peace. It is about the children. One of the things that I recognize is that we as human beings had to learn what that meant. What is peace? It has been a long time a very long time that we have been able to just sit within peace and within ourselves. There's so much going on in the world. You know, one minute you're, you're enjoyed, the next minute there's something very sad going on. So where is the inner peace? And we have to see that first. If you don't know what it feels like to be peaceful, you cannot show that. You cannot walk it. There was a time if I spoke the words, I'm Cherokee, to another Cherokee person, they would say my skin was too dark, okay? Now, in my peaceful moment, I don't let you treat me like a stepchild, so I stand up. But in peace, we don't worry about that. We don't worry about the color of skin. We take the skin off, you know? We don't have to have these coats on. What we do is we stand for ideology that we're all one. There's one blanket, one tapestry is my thing. We should be striving to find the joy, to show the balance. And we do that by standing within ourselves, standing within our groups. And this 144 women standing, doing ceremony, singing, drumming, bringing out a peaceful celebration, peaceful energy between us, 
And if you don't know anything about women, there's not, we're not always so peaceful amongst ourselves. But we will show that peace because that peace is very, very important for those who are in front of us. It is about bringing forth the best in human beings. We have to stand side by side with our brothers. You know, we are the birthers. They are the planter of the seeds. You can't have any birthing if you don't have a seed. So it takes both. There's also the masculine and the feminine within. And becoming peaceful with that, understanding your masculine energy and your feminine energy. One of the things that I did maybe two years ago was this drum and uh, I'll bring it down here. And that was just to help me to recognize myself. And um, yeah, I'm a spider, you know, I'm a weaver, I weave, but I'm also all these other things. And some of it is, some of them are masculine and some of them have feminine energy. Some of them are nurturers, um, some of them are hunters. So it, it's taking that piece of me and putting it all into one and then moving from that into my family and making sure that my family understands the balance between us, knowing that we're not all the same, but that we do have history and her story and that we do have within our family the morals that we move by. And then from that to community, and from community to our um, city, our country, the world, the universe, the cosmos, and then bring it all the way back to you. Come all the way back. Because that is the balance. That's how we blend. I was very excited when um, I was asked to participate uh, because as someone who walks the oneness, we're getting together 144 women from different backgrounds and, and different ideology, and we're going to sing, dance, and do ceremony to weave that next walk for man, that next walk for those who will choose to walk the road of peace. So I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say that <laughs> I'm excited for many reasons, mostly about my grandchildren, because um, I don't want them to go through what I went through. I do not want them to walk the road that I have walked. When I was unknowing, because once I knew, I knew how to walk or how to seek my path. We don't have to live as we have in the past. Now, I'm not saying that somebody won't live that way. What I am saying is I will not. And the generations in front of me, in my family line, will not because they will understand that they have the right of choice and to choose the path that brings them the most peace, joy, and happiness. Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much.